You know, it's stories like this that make the world feel just a little bit smaller. From the Gaza Strip in the Middle East to Northeast Ohio's Stark County. And he got shot um, in Gaza, and then he had his leg amputated. That young boy is here right now, getting the help he needs after living for months with injuries he caught in the crossfire. News 5's Tara Molina spent time with him, his host family, and those who are helping him. Tara shares his story. It's a story of resilience, bravery, and an organization based here in Ohio to help kids thousands of miles away. The young boy you're about to meet, Abood, told me the message he wants to send to the world is one of hope. My name's Abdul. He's more than 6,000 miles from home. <laughs> you got the English thing down. <laughs> from his family, his friends, his school. How old are you? Uh, but this, this little room in an office in Canton, Ohio, <laughs> is where this 11-year-old boy is taking his first steps. Stand up okay. and push down into it. Good. Thousands of miles from home, this is where Abood Nofal will learn to walk again. Good. The short steps. This is home. Well, for now. Don't forget, pin nice and straight. Mm -hmm. When you put a new limb in something, he, I mean, it was a traumatic amputation. There was a lot going on, and you don't know what happens, but he has done phenomenal. Abood was playing soccer in his hometown of Gaza. He was there playing with, with his friends. They were near a protest. He's saying there was two shots and a lot of uh, tear gas. One of them pierced his left leg. They ended up cutting his leg off. In a hospital bed in April. In a plane to Ohio for help a couple weeks ago. In the hospital, they told him that he might get a chance to go to the United States and get a prosthetic. All through the Palestine Children's Relief Fund, a charitable organization that runs entirely on donations and ties Gaza and Northeast Ohio. PCRF actually started here in its founder's hometown of Kent. Yankee uh, Bionics, um, they're providing um, the prosthetic and the, the treatment for free. In their 25 years, they've brought 2,000 injured kids here for help and sent dozens of groups to help sick children overseas. He couldn't go to the West Bank to get, to get over there or get physical therapy there, but he was able through PCRF to come to the United States. Good. Abood admitted it's all been scary, but even while he's still adjusting to life 6,000 miles away, a new family, language, and leg. But now he's just like my little brother. His message isn't one of fear, pain, or uncertainty, but of gratitude uh, and hope. He's telling the kids to stay happy and uh, uh, hopeful, just as before, even if they're even if they lost a limb. Abood will stay here for a couple more months with Youssef and his host family, just while he adjusts to his finished prosthetic and goes through physical therapy. Then he'll head back home to Gaza to his family. He's pretty excited about that. Reporting in Cleveland tonight, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.